Welcome back again, Dante's family. Thank you for the love and for the support. Remember to subscribe, to like, to share our content. Um, this is another episode of the journey to a barista. And uh, today's guest is none other than Enoch Nyakweba, one of my friends, and he's going to take us through his journey. And uh, I hope you will like the story. Thank you and enjoy. Okay. My name's Al Enoch Nyakweba. First and foremost, I have to welcome, I have to say thank you to Mr. Morgan for introducing this channel for us to give us our story. The way we started from the first day to our last day, where we are at the moment. My journey as a barista first started in the year of 2013. The day I remember one of my friends known as Elk Mumani and Douglas Obuoga came to me and told me, Enoch, our company is employing more people and uh, we would like you to join us also to start working with us. Uh, I remember Douglas told me uh, tomorrow I'm going to work, but after work I think I will come and call you, we'll go and uh, send your CV. I remember I had no, I had no CV that time. After school, remember, after Form 4, finishing Form 4, going to do computer, driving. After finishing driving, I went back to school also to study. So I had no CV because I was so busy. Yeah. We had to go with me and Douglas himself. We prepared CV. And we sent it. I had also no phone. I was using, uh, I was having a phone, Mulika uh, Mwizi. You know that's Mulika Mwizi. So sometimes it was going off, bit charging, sometimes disturbance like this. So I had to give my father's contacts. In case they call me, next of kin, they get that. We sent, and I remember it took at least one week. Yeah, it was just one week to get a call from Shiro, a child, Nairobi Java House. Uh, sorry, sorry, by the way, and who is Doug Douglas? Which department was he? Douglas was working as a steward before. Ah, okay. Yes, uh, and the Elk Mumani, both of them, okay. they were steward. So after Shiro called me, told me, Enoch, you are one of those that we have selected. I go for interview, which was on uh, Monday. I remember it was on a Friday. She told me, Enoch, you have to come for an interview on Monday. I was very happy. I went to, I remember that Monday, I wear my suit like this, tie, black trouser, white shirt, black shoes. I went for an interview. My interview took just five minutes, I remember. They just asked me just one question. I'm not, we are going to offer you a job as a steward. I didn't know what a steward is because me, I was eager to get a job. So I said, yeah, I can do. But I don't know what's a steward. After that, after finishing the interview, I, told, I was told that, ah, this question, I did not answer it well. They were supposed to be answered, but. Who, who told you that? Ah, I, I was, my, myself, oh, I, was, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was told, I was, I was thinking like, ah, did I really answer that question really? <laughs> the way it was supposed to be answered. Okay. After the interview finished, they told us we will contact you. And I remember I have, uh, my phone is having a problem. It's a Murikamuizi. So after two days, they called my dad. You have been called and you have been confirmed that you have been taken for a work that you, at the interview that you, uh, sorry, the interview that you, you did, you passed. So nikasema asante sana na shukuru mwenyezi mungu nimepita msa sana nimeona nimepata kazi. So they told me, I report, I, I report at Adam's Arcade at around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, on a Thursday. On, not on Thursday, on Friday. Yes, on Friday. 
so I went to Adams. We were around 20. We found one of uh, the head steward, I think, of Java Nairobi House, uh, known as Mr. Mbuga. Now Mr. Mbuga is introducing us how things are going to be started doing. Sabuni ambazo na tumika kuwasha viyombo, sabuni ambazo na tumika kuwasha floor, tukiendelea. After that, it took us uh, at least uh, how many days? Around five days for introduction only. Remember, I'm staying in Kawangwari. So sometimes, remember, you are a steward. If you come in the morning, around 8, by, by 3, you are finished. So sometimes I was with my friends. We just walk, just walk from Adams to Kawangwari. No need of taking a matatu because of, you know, the traffic in Nairobi. So sometimes you walk to Kawangwari. Sometimes you walk from Kawangwari to work to job. So in Adams, things, and I'm a hustler, remember those days. The last day of uh, the training, I remember we went to Salit to do general cleaning. Now that's the time we found Mr. Baengere, the one and only, called Roriondo. We did, we did a very, very thorough general cleaning. It came a time everybody is going to be taken, his whole, our whole branch, where, he, where, where he's going to start working. I remember Mr. Buka came with a wrist. Myself, I was playing in my heart, saying, oh my God. I pray that I remain in Adams because of, you see, the distance. Because I don't have money also. And I was a, a trainee steward. Kwa bahati ya mwenyezi mungu. My name, Lili Lili, it was the first name. Enoch, your branch is Adams. I was very happy, my friend. Let me tell you that I was very happy. I was very happy. And uh, after that, I started working in Adams for around, I worked for three months in Adams. Now that's the time I started getting encouragement to be a barrister because when I was went to the barrister counter taking, taking the cups, we call them I was, I was seeing some people drawing very nice flowers. I wonder how can, how can this man do this? How can this lady do this? I would like to know this thing. That's the time I talked with the, that time we had a sister and a barrister known as Sylvia. It's a very nice lady, I remember. She really encouraged me. She was coming to where I was in the station telling me, you know, even when you are free, there's no need of staying here because there's no things. Because Adams was not too busy, branch. Just come. I will just show you the way things are going to be done here. But now remember, that time you had to pass through kitchen first and then you go to the counter. So sometimes I go to the counter, manager come and tell me, Hello, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at the back. First, have you done the exam in the kitchen? No. Okay, start from the kitchen first. Now I was seeing things are going to be worse. Kitchen knowing these things are at and I was not interested about these things. Me, I was interested about coffee. But the manager came and explained to me, the reason. It's because uh, you know when you are uh, at a counter, a guest can come and ask you, I want a samosa. The guest wants a samosa and you don't know what's, what's the ingredients in the samosa. So that's the reason why you have to pass through kitchen. I want a salad and then uh, you don't know what's inside the salad. You have to know at least you have an idea, at least an idea of knowing what you are doing. So I saw it was okay. So now, three weeks, one month in the kitchen. I did the exam, I finished from the kitchen. Now I went to as a barrister, I went to train as a barrister. The head barrister was changed, and now Doka came. After Doka, 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 Doka came and Doka told me, was asking who is training as a barrister here? I was the first one to say, I'm here, my boss. Okay, he told me now you have to start training, a serious training, not the jokes that you have been doing, a serious training, because I'm seeing your book, you like at least you train two hours, one hour you go. So I want a serious training for those people who are training as a barrister. Okay, now it started me, I came, when I wake up, sometimes I come further in the morning when I'm crossing, I start training as a barrister. After training, I go back, my work as a steward. 
Doka stayed in Adams, I think, at least one month, and mm -hmm. then he was removed. Now came one of my best, let me say my best head barrister. Because the woman or the lady, she really helped me a lot. She helped me a lot, let me tell you the truth, she helped me a lot. Because uh, my interest first was, I want to know how to brew. That was my first interest, I remember. But yes, Grace, with, the, with the, her latte hat, yes. And Grace told me, no, coffee is not about latte hat. Coffee is about what you give the customer, what you make a nice coffee. You can make a nice coffee without a latte hat, and your guests enjoy. But you can make a, a worst coffee with a latte hat, and the guests don't take it. So Grace told me, no, first, you have to focus. What do you want? You want to be a barrister first? Tell me, do you want to be a barrister? I told her, yes, I want to be a barrister. Okay. Now, you know, let's continue, me and you. I remember the guest ordered a cappuccino and I was starting making it. I steamed milk, milk near the pandas. That's the time she told me, you know, take the file, go back okay, and start training and start reading the notes. After finishing reading the notes, you go home. <laughs> That's not the time it came for me. My my interest of being a barrister started going away because now she started shouting on me, started making noise on me, but she was helping me. But on my side, I was saying yes, like, so uh, this lady, she really, she like, you don't want me to be a barrister. Yeah. I changed. I started training as a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> after, after two weeks, training as a waiter. I remember our group had came. Wakiwa na Mr. Wakiwa na Mrs. Pauline. And then also Pauline said she wants to promote those people who are training as waiters. So me, I have two books. I'm training as a waiter, I'm training as a barrister. Now that's the time they told me, I'm not decide one. Where do you want to be? I, I said, hey, hey. Sasa hapa ni kumekua ngoli. Because mana kwanza kabisa yangu ilikuwa, it was to be a barrister. I said I want to be a barrister. That's why I'm here to tell me, you have to do exam as a barista, exam, your barista. I remember that time Grace said to me an exam. Combine the exam, my friend, not the only thing for the barista. Two in one. Two in one. I did the exam and I remember I scored, I got it 80%. That's not the time Mr. Mutia came and told me, hey, now we have an egg. You have passed the exam. Remember this time, by the way, I have not, uh, sorry, I have not introduced you that uh, we, Momani came to work with me, now in, in the same branch. And also he was training as a barrister. Remember this guy helped me to, to get a job. Now we came to work together. And as, as stewards, yes. Now Mr. Mutia came and told me, our head group head barrister, Mr. Mutia told me, you know, we have, you have passed the exam, you two of you, but, we are opening a branch in Nakuru. So, the focus that we have at the moment, that you can promote you, it's in Nakuru. My friend, remember, Mumani has a family, but me, I don't have a family. I can go, I'm a badger boy. I told him, Mr. Mutier, sir, thank you so much for the opportunity, but to Nakuru, it's very far from home, so no need. After, if you feel like you want the opportunity, you come and tell me. But we did not go, I remember, we did not go. After that, something happens, happened in Nakuru branch. So he had to replace the barristers who were there. And then he came back to us. He was calling me, Mokaka, where is your Mokaka Mungine? Mokaka, Mokaka, Konyubani. Akanambia, Sasa, Pigia, Yesimu and tell him that I want to send you to Nakuru. Let the first one you said no, and I think this one you will not say no. My friend, we have been still, and so remember you have been washing things around the year now, going. So I called Eric, Eric told me, how do you see? Let us take the opportunity. We took the opportunity, we went to Nakuru. One year, that's the time, and it was promoted also. Now she is the group head, barrister. So I remember I called Anne, I told, I told her that I want to go back to the city because now life in Nakuru started becoming 
hard for me. Remember, I'm paying down the house alone because Mumani moved in with the family. But it came a time when the one of the barrister from Nairobi, that's not the time, she called me, she told me, you know, you have a replacement. So are you still willing to come to Nairobi? I told her, hey, why not? I went back to Nairobi. My branch, my first branch in Nairobi was Alingam. That the time was a new new. My friend, it was very busy. Let me tell the truth. No, no, no. I, no, Nakuru also is busy. Nakuru is very busy. Alingam, to Kapatana, I'm a barista. I worked in Duta. I worked in Alingam around two, ma three, two months. People were supposed to go to the airport. The list came out. I found that my name is there. I'm, the, I'm one of those barristers who work with the airport. Oh my God. Remember, I've been getting stories about the airport. It's too busy, my friend. It's too very, it's too busy. It's not easy. It's too busy. And remember, I've not been working at night. So this is not the first time uh, I'm going to night. start working at night shifts. So I said, uh, ah, manome ni manome. What am I feeling? I have to go. Very it's very sensitive, so you have to. Very yes, says me, very strong. For for us, we are given temporary pass, get pass. For working, so we started working. But it, but it came a time when they say that those people don't have the get pass, a little get pass, not temporary. They have to go back to the branches. We went back to our, to where we came from. But to me, I was changed. I did not go back to Aringa. I went to Yaya. It's a small branch, but it's very busy. I went to Yaya and I went to Eric Juma. Eric Juma also, he worked. He was the head. He was the head barrister at Yaya. Eric Juma told me a lot also. I learned a lot from him. And then now, after one month, a report came that Enoch again now the get the uh, get pass now it's ready now you have to go back to the airport fully now you have to go to the airport now it's full time no mushkil so I went back to the airport I worked at the airport one year one year and uh, one month yeah one year and one month I finished the airport it was not easy my brother it's better I tell you the truth it's not it was not easy. Sleeping, people saying you are sleeping in a viatu. Unalala na viatu. We just finished the airport. The following morning, I remember I know I reported at current branch. Yeah, I remember you, you came to release me. Yes, I, came uh, to release, I released you. Yes, Morgan released me from uh, airport. Now I went to replace Morgan at Karen. But I worked three months in Karen. That's the time I was also transferred from Karen. I was told nine o'clock tomorrow you are closing downtown. My friend, downtown is a branch where everybody wants hot hot things, even a cappuccino. Hot, make it make it hot, my friend. I want it hot. Very busy in the morning, very busy in the evening. I worked downtown for six months. And then finally, I was transferred to Gigiri. Gigiri, I went there and I found the lady who trained me as to be a barista, Grace Yedai. Same branch, same counter, working with her. I was very happy to meet the lady who trained me as a barista. And I remember, you have to show now that you are, what I told you, what I told you, you have to show me now that you, Olishika Kirakitu. We worked the answer, we finished. And also, after some few months, I was also transferred from, from uh, Sesme, from Gigiri to USIU. I went to open a new branch. That's not the first time I was going to open a new branch, USIU. USIU, I worked for six months, USIU, yes and I was also transferred 
after being promoted to assistant and barista, just the time I was removed from the SIU because you are me and Vincent Moraja. The two of us, all of us, you are assistants, barristers and barristers. And me, I was moved to Airport View. Airport View, I worked with Boniface Mwade, my friend, for at least one month. And I was transferred to now Upper Hill, where I go, I found my friend, Mr. Muga. Upper Hill, I worked for just one month. That's the time the opportunity came for me to come to Kuwait in 2018. February to get more experience from also from the other countries and I decided to take it. I take it with my two hands. We worked for a company known as Gahawa for one year, uh, one year and six months and then I went back to Kenya for a leave. I remember I also got another offer from the same, 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 same country, now stock group. I find the order, the over was good. I took the over. Now, at the moment, I'm working in stock room, coffee shop. And now that's my story. And I have to say thank you so much to Mr. Morgan again for giving me yes, this opportunity to give you my story and also to express myself. And this to show, also to show those people who, who sometimes think that they cannot make it in life, they can make it. As long as they trust God, work hard, honesty, and determination, you will make it in life. Thank you so much. God bless you.